Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am very excited to be opening some new and some old Littlest Pet Shop figures. I am so happy that LPS has made a return in their newest generation. Alas, in stores at Target, I could only find one of the pet trios, but that's okay. I dug in the mini toy vault and I found three different older packs. So we'll have six little figures to unbox, old and new. And I absolutely love the design. Look at that little axolotl staring at us. And we can kind of compare and reminisce together. I also have a Littlest Pet Shop playlist on my channel where in the past I did like all LPS themed items. In, in some unboxing. So if you're interested, you can check that out as well. And let us begin with the newest generation of LPS. This is the Wild Vibe set. On the packaging, it shows you can also find the City Vibes 3-pack as well as the Island Vibes. Okay, that's really cool. So inside you get three pets, an accessory, collector card, virtual code, and collector's guide. So that's cool. They have a little virtual code thingy going on taped at the bottom here, so I'm assuming this will be ooh, the easiest way of getting them out. Yep. Okay, that's cool. And it looks like Littlest Pet Shop are now being made by Basic Fun in conjunction to Hasbro still owning the trademark license to LPS. So either way, thank you for, for bringing these back. We, we appreciate it. Get this little <laughs> blind bag, which has our code and checklist. And then here is our first little character who I believe is an iguana. Oh my goodness, so cute. So nice to, to be holding one again. And then the, it has a little star pattern. All of them in the Wild Vibes trio have a little star design. Oh, so cute. Then we have the cute axolotl, which has a bunch of stars on their sides as well as underneath their eyes. So these are continuing like the body's more of a hard plastic and the head is a hollow plastic with the bobble element. And then we have the purple rhino, purplish pink rhino, light purple rhino. Very cute. I love rhinos. They did a good job on like sort of the detailing and the hooves there. And then they have little stars in their ears. We also have this little branch accessory. Who, who would like that? Maybe, maybe the iguana. And then inside here, oh, it's tape. We have our little card. Oh, cute. Oh, do they have names? Well, here's the little collector card for the rhino. I'm not sure if that means they're a rare level three and their personality is like the sassiest. <laughs> we'll see. Either way, that's kind of adorable. And then we also have the checklist. Oh, wow. Which has all the blind box characters as well. Oh, look at the horse. Oh, just these designs are so awesome to see again. There's, it looks like another pink axolotl. Yes, there's a frog. <laughs> okay, and then we get into like the trio set. They also had a play set. Oh, there's a giraffe, yes. Rooster, another sea critter pack. And then, so here is, oh, it tells you like what their personality means. Not sure about the levels and then the rarities. Oh, there's some chase ones. And then the last thing in here, I think, is the online code. So I, I think it's a one-time use, so whoever whoever takes it, there you go. There is a code to unlock a virtual surprise. So you only get a card for one character. Maybe it's just the rare character. I, I'm not sure, but either way, I love our sassy rhino. So now, as we enjoy doing sometimes on my channel, let's take a trip down memory lane with our Littlest Pet Shop blind bags and boxes. So these two are from 2018, and I feel like this one was like one of the last ones I have found in stores. So maybe 2018 is when they stopped being manufactured, but then you can find them at discount stores for, for quite some time, because I know like Five Below even had some of these. But let's start with our Fortune Cookie Lucky Pets from Wave 2. And this was a really fun experience to open because you get a crack open the fortune. Which is pretty satisfying. And here's a look at some of the characters you can get from Wave 2. A lot of them have like the different solid colors going on. You also got like a little charm. 
which the yellow one will mean we have like a lucky pet, which is the commons on the checklist. That was like your little fortune. And then inside, oh, we have this very colorful little goat. Okay, that's, that's pretty cute. We have a little Zan on the checklist. And then on the back, you can read your fortune. So we have the yellow charm, which means you will enjoy number six, which is adventure. Yes, I like adventure. And then I'm actually filming this on a Friday. So it says you will enjoy adventure after dinner. <laughs> that is a very, very specific time for your fortune. And then we'll put him with our, our new buddies to kind of compare. Next up, let's grab the little food tin. Um, just because, again, these were my very last Littlest Pet Shops I ever purchased in stores until now. So this one was fun because they had, oh, we're going to have it revealed. Um, so here's the card, but they had little outfits that you could put on which were themed to various food items. So hopefully you didn't see that. But here's a look at the ones in this series. <laughs> very cute. You you get the like large size figure um, that the costumes go on. Let's just grab our pet first, and oh, oh my goodness, we have this little kitty cat dressed in sushi, and of course you can remove the outfit. So here's our littlest pet shop. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? And it looks like she has like a little shrimp sushi, and then this piece I think is like the hat, and you get like a little mini food. Oh yeah, oh, come back. So here's, here's the little hat with some like wasabi and ginger and then here's the little mini version okay that's really cute that's really cute and then so on the checklist we have this little cutie and then this fits on let's see here like so well there you go and you can of course choose outfit on outfit off either way <laughs> it's a cute idea it's a cute theme um, i'm curious if they'll do any themes with the with the new generation and then our last little pet shop where the drink cans which like the food series these were all themed to different drinks with 10 different ones to collect i like how you can pop the can that's cute it might reveal the card so i'm just gonna kind of pop it this way does it oh maybe there's no card there might be just a checklist okay oh that's cute so you reach in there have your items out. Ooh. And then here's this one. So this is like the little costume hat they wear. Oh, how cute. Oh, it looks like we have some lemonade. Okay, that's adorable. It has little slits for the ears and then a little small lemonade drink. Very cute. And then our little lemonade friend. Oh, is another kitty cat. Oh, this one's really cute with the tongue sticking out. And they're wearing a little little grass skirt there. Oh, I like the, the color combo on the kitty. And here they are in their hat. Very cute, very easy to get on. And then look at that matches up perfectly to their little tongue. Okay, that's adorable. They have a long tail too. That is a domestic cat, right? Or is it like a tiger of some sort? <laughs> Here's another look at everything we opened today. Feel free to let me know which little LPS character was your favorite, or in general, what do you think about the return and new generation of LPS? I would love to hear your thoughts down below. As for me, I think the newest generation does harken back to some of the older ones and definitely pays homage to that, which I think is really cool. I hope they, they keep a lot of them in that large style and it looks like all the ones out right now are. And then of course, these ones as they were on their way out, you know, they experimented with different things as, as they progressed. But either way, I am very, very happy to see Littlest Pet Shop back in stores again. And that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it or found it useful for your own shopping. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I do hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.